So let's talk about a viral TikTok story. Thank you. This information from boardpanda.com. Last week, Elizabeth Teckenbrock went viral for posting a heartbreaking video of herself on TikTok, sobbing as she revealed, quote, being single, being a single mom is making your own birthday cake on your birthday so that your babies can feel happy. They are singing to you. She went viral for this. And, you know, people were sad and like, damn, that stinks and whatever. But then her alleged ex-husband jumped into the realm. His name is Andrew Cormier. And he accused Elizabeth of owing over $21,000 in child support and faking cancer. And then Elizabeth came back at him. And she claimed that he is an abusive Scientologist creating a smear website campaigns against her. So pretty ugly, to say the least. And, um, I mean, some things are definitely not meant to be aired on the Internet. So we're now all watching this turmoil of this family. <laughs> so, Ryan, what do you think about this story? And um, are you on anybody's side? Well, I'm going to presume there are actually kids. And honestly, I say that not even as a joke. There was a while where I believe that neither one of them has any kids and it's all made up but i'm gonna assume the kids are real for a second and say that neither one of them is fit to be the parents of these children like what are you doing and as terms of sides i think everyone is bad i don't have That's a what side. i was gonna and say here's why so number one you go to that first video what are you doing recording that video you had to set up your tripod. You had to put your phone on it. You had to hit record and you had to start crying. You're presumably not crying when you did all this. Or, counterpoint, you are crying because you are lonely. And as you're crying, your th head goes, I should film myself crying about this and put it on the internet. So either you're not really sad or you're really sad and are trying to use it to get go viral, which both of those are crazy. Yep. But then... You look into this guy a little bit more. He's like 11 years her senior. And she's Weird. like 28 years old and has multiple kids with this guy. Huh. So like, that means if she's got multiple kids, she's only 28. So she had to have them young. She had to have been married young. This dude is 11 years her senior. So if she's like 18 when she gets married, like this dude's an old man compared to her. That's weird, right? Like. No one is talking about that, and I get that, but that's weird to, that that's a thing. And also, if he owes, like, if she owes him that much money, like, what are you doing to work that out? I just, I feel like there's ways to get that money, but he doesn't seem to be doing any of them. And then they both claim to have the kids, and you could just go to both their houses and see where the kids are. Like that's a weird thing for them both to claim the same thing about their kids. So at least one of them is completely crazy. Um, and I think that you're right. Some things don't need to be let out on the internet. Um, TikTok is what it is. Um, not everything you do needs to be on there. I would say. Um, and yeah, that's that. As far as the a video though, like, that got, got that was covered in Newsweek. That actually the first <laughs> video, like people are really and and I get that. Like there are regular people who might be on TikTok who really are sad because they are single moms who have to like put on a happy face for their birthday or whatever, um, for their kids. Like I get that, and I do feel for those those people. And if the video was helpful to them, then I suppose that's fine. Which just makes this dude reaching out because she didn't say this guy's name in the video, right? It's just it was her crying, making cupcakes. Yeah. And then this dude just jumped in and was like, nah, she's crazy. I'm like, I we don't even know you. You could have been secret forever until you jumped in on your own TikTok to insert yourself into the story. Weird stitch and coming moment. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I wanted to be on I wanted to be against this because I thought the initial video was so weird. Like, really, truly, I cannot comprehend in either scenario why she filmed herself crying while baking. But everything this guy did is just as weird as that. And so I don't know. I don't know who's right, who's wrong. I think that the the authorities probably need to check on those kids wherever they live. Um, and yeah, 
that's where I landed on this. Everyone, everyone on the internet gets a minus ten points today because of uh, yeah. these two. <laughs> I mean, not to harp too much on a boomer take, and I'm not trying to general. You know, we real. It's fair to say we have definitely commented on Gen Z a lot. Maybe if you want to say criticize, that's up to you to say. But um, we've definitely had a lot to say about the generation under us. Some people may even say we are the oldest of the Gen Z generation, depending on who you're talking to. But do you feel like, you know, Gen Z, you know, YouTube's YouTube's old slogan was broadcast yourself. Yeah, And it seems that. people are taking that so literally and like making con- I, I don't get it either. Like people who make these very personal videos and using it as ways of content and quote unquote, maybe you're trying to just cash in on it or this is your way to cope with what sadness you're dealing with. Like, is this just a generational thing? You know what? I'm going through some real stuff right now. I must let everybody know. And if I hit a certain threshold, I'll even get paid for it. I wish that I believed that it was that, but it's it's not. It's just not because it's not a healthy outlet. So, like, if you and by are, way, I don't know, I don't know of enough research if or if not to agree or disagree. It's just you just often see it a lot. Yeah, I mean, again, we're we're both talking from observations. Neither one of us is a. If you are what, a sociologist or like a psychologist who studies this thing, yeah, like, you know, message at T Tweet Cap, reach out to Productive Conversations on all social medias. Let us know. We'll mm-hmm. have you on. We, I would love to talk about. It. We talk about this all the time, both on the show and off the show. But like to me, like it's not a healthy way to let that stuff out. Like, yeah. all right. Real, real world being dirty the laundry as literal as it can be. Real world example, um, we had a we had a, a few people upset with me recently about some stuff I said, and that was clearly hmm. me overgeneralizing and speaking in like an outrageous tone. Clearly, and doing so got people to respond. Like it worked in that respect. But like, if you're really going through a hard time, like I wasn't, that had nothing to do yeah, with me. You did like, it for literal content, like right, like it had, I'm not involved at all. So like, but if it's your real life, if you're not yeah. faking, <laughs> then like, what are you doing? Like, why would you put yourself into that? And then also, just if you it. are faking it, right? <laughs> no, seriously, if you are faking it, like that's kind of messed up, right? Because there's yeah. people who aren't. Like, I, all right, as an example, like, so my partner. Did put a video up, like a, a real one, about the whole Butker thing, separate from us, and I'm not sharing it, but it's mm-hmm. it's up there, and like they also, and they received some support from people, but they also received some negative feedback, and I mean, obviously, I was like, don't read any of the comments, good or bad, and so it's fine, but I read them, because I can't, I do this, this is what I do, and yeah, I was looking, at it, I was like. Could you imagine putting a real personal thing out there and expect like and getting completely jumped on by it? Like if it was, oh, yeah. especially if it's something serious, like you know, your mental health, right, or your family, or your even your physical health. People talk about physical ailments. I just it doesn't make doesn't make sense to me at all, Matt. And again, I really want someone to tell us why they do it, um, especially someone who does it a lot. It's one thing to do it once in a while. Like to jump on to like a big trend or whatever. But like people who consistently do this make content about themselves in this way, so raw. And like, A, we want to know if, if it's real or not. And B, like, if it isn't real, why did you choose this subject matter? And if it is real, how do you deal with the fact that half the people who see it are gonna they clown don't even you? Say, yeah. They're gonna clown you. No matter what you say, half the people who see anything online are going to be. <laughs> angry with you and dislike even, you and make fun of you that's even just... i was just saying even in the most genuine moments they'll still make fun of you. you could save you could literally save somebody from a burning building it's like man that guy's mad stupid for running in there he should or something like that you know yeah or they'll comment how big your forehead is <laughs> <laughs> uh so like yeah there's no like there's no upside to pub to posting anything other than if you're trying to monetize it that's the upside right yeah. if you're trying to make content you know, to get views and to monetize and to have, you know, to have a show and to entertain people, then sure. But like, don't use your own life to entertain people because yeah, that just feels bad. <laughs> it just feels wrong. It's awkward. And, you know, you learn as you're getting older and seeing this slowly hitting on YouTube will be 20 years old next year. 
So if we want to say YouTube was the threshold to start the broadcasting yourself aspect of people mm. really making their content that way, now we have two decades of of examples. And still, I st we probably still need many more, at least another decade to really know the human psychology and the human behavior to but something like this. It's yeah, different much now. different. Even us, like we do this all the time and we are we aren't Gen Z, we're millennials, but we're close. Like we're on that borderline, you know what I mean? Where it's a conversation. But even we, like, we grew up in a time where we constantly heard, like, don't post this, don't post that. Yeah. Employer, ah. bro, employers will see your socials, all sorts of things. We know, like, we heard all that. And by the way, I'm not saying that's not true. Uh, I'm just saying, like, it's something that isn't talked about anymore at all. Oh, yeah. And so, like, especially so I, some the, of it uh... maybe even, I, some of it maybe comes from younger generations not thinking there's any, like, real jobs for them anyway. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, right. what consequences am I scared of? <laughs> uh, like, so maybe it's that maybe it's like a, just a general like everyone wants to be an entertainer because nobody knows what else they can possibly do um maybe it's that i don't know but like goodness you're right it is different after two after two decades you can see a clear clear difference like we have far more reservations about what we put out than people younger than us yeah like it's and it's clear it's clear like and we've worked with people and it's clear like you know what i mean so it's interesting and that's what's great about the, really the opinion and commenting business on that is us reacting to stuff in that way yeah. instead of just you know i mean like look at the only fans generation too and like what they're yeah, putting I mean... themselves out there doing <laughs> for life and then people do it on a secondary market on other sites like stuff yeah. like that and not specifically adult entertainment, but just putting yourself out there and you're most vulnerable, if you will. Right. And some people just don't care. Simple as that. Right. Exactly. And, and that's both good or bad. Well, it's, it's neither good nor bad. It's just the fact there, there yeah. is definitely like, there's definitely a more laissez faire attitude, right? More of a, <laughs> this is fine. And I mean, it, and a lot of times it is. Again, we know. OnlyFans, like we've interviewed several OnlyFans, uh, like models and stuff on this show. They're all very, very successful and very, very nice. And so I'm not critiquing it at all. It's just, it is just a totally different like way of being. The idea of just being so online, like for everyone to to like interact with you, good or bad, is different. And it's you're right. It's just this is an example of that because this video didn't need to exist, and then the video commenting on this video didn't mm -hmm. need to like every video needed to exist just a little bit less than the first one and now it's spiraled into like a whole fight online and everyone's weighing in everyone's weighing in now it's not just a fight between exes it's an internet fight between you know <laughs> men women this group that group whatever, yeah, whatever that is that is something that's hilarious when you see an argument in the comment section based on other comments right. that's happened a bunch of times on our videos too. Yes. That's, that's hilarious. You're more focused on the comment yeah. arguments than the actual content. Yeah, you're engaging with a comment about what, what someone else is talking about. But again, for this argument, like this is a personal argument. Like kids are involved. Like, yeah, like real this... kids, presumably. And now you've got comment sections weighing in on who should have custody of these children. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. What is right or wrong. You're not a judge. Like, I'm You're sure a TikTok user. I'm sure like this is, keeps getting in the way. There's there's gonna have to be more legal legal issues, and you know this is your evidence now. Well, yeah, can you imagine? Like, yeah, they can throw this up in court, all of it. Yeah, like, whoever whoever's lying is gonna get absolutely like, you know, hammered by a judge and a lawyer when they're like, look at what you said. None of this is true. Like, if he if she doesn't <laughs> owe twenty one thousand. What like what do yeah, you well, how do you get out of that? The, the, he definitely got the, he definitely has that document, whether doctored or not. Well, yeah, so that's the thing, thing was, we have to wonder. But right, he has documents, but it, it didn't. He didn't like sh there weren't paper documents. They're just a flash on the screen and went away. It's like hard to tell what that even meant. But all the numbers he was saying lined up, right? So like, what about her? Like, you know, she's now going on and claiming he's abusive. Like, is that yeah. libel? At that I'd point. Not libel, because that's uh, what's it called when you speak it? Slander. Slander. Yeah, is that slander at that point? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we'd we'd have to ask the legal experts there, but it's pretty pretty freaky stuff. 